Am I the only guy who said this? But I think Liverpool are just going to be too much for Manchester City to hold on to this year. Guardiola is a genius, but I think Klopp's going to get the upper hand this year. So Liverpool do win the league. Well, let me not get ahead of myself because things could really, really turn down from there. But did I change my mind? Did I say Manchester City were going to win the league? Stick around to find out if I did. Let's start from the bottom. Sheffield United going down. I love Sheffield United. In fact, since I support no club, in case you don't know, I support no club. It means that I have the, the love for underdog story that most fans do not have. Yeah, but I love seeing Sheffield United. But change the manager, not of quality to make it out of 20th. Burnley going down at 19th. I don't trust Vincent Company. I placed him very high at 15th for a club that was just promoted. That is all they can really ask for 15. But he's one of the teams that have underperformed via my prediction. And I've said he's going back down to the championship. Now, Luton Town. This was hard to say because I love Luton Town and they got that fighting spirit in them. But the thing about relegation is you just have to be better than whoever you are fighting with. That's just how that's what all of relegation is. And if you look at the teams they are fighting, Everton, Brentford, Crystal Palace, sometimes Bournemouth, maybe Nottingham Forest, they don't seem to be better than any of these teams on paper in terms of getting the job done. And as much as I love seeing Luton and I love the entire squad, I don't think they are going to make it. And they might go down, but I might be wrong. Let me know what you feel, guys, down in the comment below. 17th is Wolves. Like I always say, Wolves are allergic to relegation. Even if they take 20 points off Everton, Everton are not going down. Everton are Premier League. Premier League, Um, when I say born, what's the word? Like Premier League, Premier League is their bet, right? Just to stay in it. So that's just it. Um, 16th position is going to be Crystal Palace. Very boring side. Don't like their manager. Don't like their squad. I think Luis and Eze, as much as people like them, I don't think they've substantially done enough because the team is wallowing down there. And some other seasons, they could be up in 10th at this time. But I think if those players were a bit better, maybe it was a bit more quality around them, they could have been better. I don't like Crystal Palace, but unfortunately, Crystal Palace, they're going to get wins. They, they drew to Manchester City. They've got an important point against Manchester United, so that's just all it's going to be down the way. Now, 15th position is going to be Nottingham Forest. I put Forest two places ahead in my earlier prediction, but um, that didn't work out well. So, Forest finished 15th. Love this with Santo. He looks like a man for the job. 14th, Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth is a team I said will go down. And for a brief moment, I was happy that my prediction would come into pass because I think about five, six, seven games into the season, Bournemouth were actually 19th position. Sheffield United, Bournemouth were 19th position. But um, they've crawled out. They've crawled out really good. And I also said their yeah, manager was the second worst manager in the league. That seems to have beaten me back. Go, go check out that video if you if you want to see where I said it and feel embarrassed for me. Brentford up in 13th. Brentford have been plagued with injuries this season. But I know the manager's one that can work it out. Rico Henry out for a long time. Hickey also out. I think they're not going to sell Tony. So when he comes back, that's going to be a plus. But back to Brentford. It's been tough. It's been a tough year for the club. And I think towards the end, they might get, start getting the points that they're not getting now. They have a game in hand against Manchester City. They might lose. They might draw. Obviously, they might not win. But never take away Brentford because they've beaten Manchester City before. At Manchester City at the best, so don't take it away from Brentford. It's so it's so kind of high. I'm putting Brentford at 13, but I, I put them there. Wolves at 12. Yeah, I think Gary O'Neill's plan this year is just to finish above Bournemouth and tell Bournemouth you were wrong about the sack. And I believe Wolves are gonna finish above Bournemouth because I've also seen a lot of Wolves. He Juan He Chan, Matheus Cunha, they're on fire. Oops, Sarabia is also there at the club. I mean, then you have the defender. What's his name now? I can't remember his name. Then you have. Uh, Semedo at right back. I mean, those are quality enough to finish 12th. Fulham, 11th. I predicted it will finish 11th and I don't see them changing. Not the most of interesting stuff, but I do like to watch them. Calvin Bassi, steady defender, I will be. I might say that's biased because they are from my country, but no, they're just good for this clubs. Uh, they are. Raheem Inez, I also said he was one of the worst signing because he hadn't scored before then, but guess what? He's scoring for fun now. When Fulham are in fun, are in fun rather, but that's just it. So, 10th, middle through the table, I said Newcastle will finish 10th because I think getting out of the Champions League was the best thing that could happen to the club and I'm happy that's just behind them because they weren't suitable. They weren't suitable to chase all these competitions. And I think English fans sometimes get delusional 
about how well they can really achieve Fuck out. Brighton up in night said it will finish night and retaining that I like Brighton I like Brighton although they've been bad although they've been especially good in Europe but who am I to say that Brighton will not finish higher Manchester United in eight. I put Villa at eight. Manchester United have been poor, despite um playing somewhat interesting football, but um grinding out the results on some games have been where the problem is. And believe me, every game that Manchester United have lost, they've lost it well. The game against Brighton where they lost three, the game against West Ham where they lost two nil. They should have lost the game against Villa. I don't know how they did that one, but I still think Ten Hag is gonna drop off. I said he was the worst manager in the league. It might be a wrong take, but I think Manchester United are not just at the best. And I think they're going to finish 8th, miss out on Europe. And who knows, Ten Hag might be sacked. Let's keep that between me and you. Chelsea finishing 7th. Now, this is the hottest take I might have ever said because they are well in 10th now. And if you think about it, 7th in just an 18 game period isn't unachievable. And I think they're finally getting things ready. Nicholas Jackson goes to the African Cup of Nations and. Maybe, just maybe, we get Broja start scoring goals, we get Nkunku start scoring goals, and Palmer, and all things just click and work out well for, for Chelsea. So I put them in 7th. West Ham in 6th. And I saw James Lawrence Alcott say, West Ham look like a team that would drop off, but I think David Moyes, he's got it. He's got it working well for his club right now. Paqueta is in form. Chad Bowen is in form. You also have their goalkeeper, what's his name now? I realize in form, like, that is just amazing stuff there. From, from West Ham. I think they'll finish 6th. Europa League, it's going to be daring to say higher, but I think they'll finish 6th. Villa at 5th. Now, at some point, Villa were in a conversation for the side to raise, but they've dropped off at some point, and all, all of a sudden, no one believes they're going to make or win the league, and unfortunately, I am one of those people that think they will not win the league, but I put them in 4th. Spurs, I put them in fifth, pardon me. Spurs are going to finish fourth. Yeah, that's just it. I think Spurs have been very, very impressive this season. The signings have been on point. Though they've been injured. Van de Ven, when he's back, he's the, he's the man. Brennan Johnson, still trying to get his form. But I think on a good day, on a good system, he's a good player that can get you an assist, that can get you a match winner. Right. So I think Spurs will finish fourth. And welcome back to the UCL for them. Arsenal finishing third. Yeah, that's not finishing third because not enough quality, but the thing is I don't see Spurs overtaking Arsenal because Spurs were good at the start, but Arsenal kind of usurped them, and I think that's just gonna the way it's going to be to game because Spurs have been losing a very ridiculous game. I still can't get past the fact that they lost to Brighton. Yeah, that was Brighton. They lost that game, and uh, that was utterly ridiculous. You can see Arsenal lost to Fulham, but Fulham were... That team that could beat Arsenal, but Spurs losing ridiculous game, and I think that's why Arsenal might get the advantage over them. Don't see Arsenal finishing higher than third. But who's finishing second? Manchester City. I'm just gonna break it. Manchester City are not winning the league. I'm retaining the prediction I made about five months ago, I think. Yeah, Arsenal. Sorry, Manchester City are not winning the league, right? They got everybody, but I think it's a, it's gonna come down to a thing of personal bias and luck for Liverpool because this uh, Liverpool side. They're not the best. I've seen very, very unconvincing game from them. The game is against like Luton. The game against Manchester United. And I think it's something that they could win. is something that they could not win. But I think they will win it. Two points. Imagine now. All it takes is for one of the other sides, Spurs, Arsenal, to draw points off Manchester City. And who knows? They might find a break there. And that's just what I think it is. Um, if I may say on other matters, because I predict goals, Rasmus Hoyland might get 10 goals this season. That we know is just keeps on falling flat. I said Mo Salah was going to get 20 goals, and I still think he's going to get 20 goals, or maybe more. Oliver Haaland is back. I don't think he's going to be as much as he was last season or last year. I think he's going to be good enough. I still see him getting 29 goals, something around that. But guys, this is where the video is going to come to an end. Uh, new video dropping soon. Let me know what you feel down in the comments below. This seems to be my longest video. I'll see you next time.